I've never wanted to die more. Let me give you a recap of my life this week. Today is Friday, March 31st. Um, it is 10 08 p.m. and I am recording a video that needs to go up in exactly 13 hours. I have been sleep deprived this whole week. I've also been watching The Office the whole time and I'm already on season nine and it's been one week. And if you are a fan of The Office, you know what an emotional roller coaster that is and I'm about to finish it. I am five episodes away. I have lit a candle every single day. This month has been March Madness at school. I just got out of the shower, by the way. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, all right? Let's go. Little things that hurt a lot. Not emotionally, because we can talk about that in another video. Around three days ago, I tweeted something along the lines of, I was taking off my jacket when all of a sudden I felt some electricity go into my ear because I had earbuds on and I had a conductive jacket. Basically, I got zapped through my ear. And having electricity go into your ear hurt a lot and I guess that just sparked the idea of this video. Because since that day, I have made a list on my phone of little things that hurt a lot. And if you haven't experienced at least one of these things, you have not truly lived life. Life is rough. Life is hard. Life hurts. And these are some of the things that hurt. Banging your hip or a body part in general on a table. If you are short like me, tables are like a danger zone. Especially ones that are square or rectangle because they have that 90 degree angle at the very corner and that's like... It's like a knife into your hip. You remember that story you were taught when you were a kid about circumference who made a rounded table? Those hurt too. They didn't count on the amount of pain that could happen from the shape of a table. Baby-proof tables shouldn't be just for babies. It should be for everyone because I cannot name how many times I've been hurt by a table, an inanimate object. Along the lines of banging something, not in the sexual way because we're not having sex talk right now with Frederick. Banging your head on a car roof. I remember when I was little, that was never an issue because my height wasn't even the size of a car door. But when puberty came, oh, uh, I don't know if that actually came all the way. I think it stopped halfway through and decided we're gonna keep you with a baby face. It's just, your body's not used to this height and you just keep on hitting your head on the wall and I swear, like, that's why I'm getting dumber each day because I just keep on hitting my head on the roof. This one, oh God. On a scale of one to 10 of pain, this next one is around eight, eight and eight. When you drink a soda or a beverage of your choice and you laugh and it goes through your nose. Now, if it's like water or milk, because those are the two most common things that everyone talks about, it hurts a little bit. But when it's soda with carbon dioxide, it feels like getting a first degree burn in your nose. And there's literally nothing you can do to stop it. For all you science people out there, you know that the body rejects carbon dioxide. I'm releasing it as I'm speaking. Why would I want that to go into my body? Do you know what a canker sore is? It's sort of like a pimple inside your mouth and it stays with you for one whole week. I don't even want to talk about how they happen. I, I have a healthy diet sometimes. I don't try to eat a lot of candy and I still get them. Next one, when you decide to have a glass cup because you want to be fancy and all that and you bring it up to your mouth. You're so excited to drink whatever you're drinking that you forget that it's glass and you hit your teeth right here and it feels like you just smashed through the Great Wall of China through your teeth and you feel like it's broken, but teeth don't break. But I can't remember the last time I broke a tooth. Actually, I can't. I was diving into a three foot pool and I forgot that it's three feet and not five feet and I chipped this part right here. Why can't humans evolve so that we don't have nerves in our teeth? That's the question. It's summertime. You want to be cool and fancy with your sunglasses and all? Uh, you can, there's probably like two circles right now. <laughs> Somehow, the moment you put it on, your hair just gets all around this thing. I can't do with this right now. And just, yeah. And it gets caught, and you try to rip it out, and you end up pulling like 10 strands out of your hair. And the last one, I'm, I don't know if I've done this before, but putting boiling water on your hand. Ow, fuck, 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 it's burning! <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or better yet, subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. And oh my god, I just stood here for 10 seconds just so I can have that clip in the video. I love you guys and everything is less than three, and uh, I'm gonna go cry watching The Office now, so goodbye.